10 Things Strictly Forbidden in a Muslim Home 1. Images of Living Beings Islam bans images of humans and animals. Making images is seen as copying God's work. This is frowned upon. Images could be wrongly worshipped. This ruling comes from certain hadiths, but the Quran itself does not forbid them. So Muslim groups follow this differently. Conservative Muslims avoid all human or animal images. They use geometric, calligraphic, or floral decor. Liberal Muslims use respectful images. For example, children's cartoons are okay. 2. A prayer room facing a bathroom. Many Muslims pray five times a day. Some or all prayers may happen at a mosque, but a dedicated prayer space at home is required as well. This prayer room should only be used for worship. It should be kept pure and free of impurities. The prayer room cannot face a bathroom. Muslims face Mecca during prayer, so the prayer room must indicate the right Qibla direction. 3. Statues or Idols Having statues, idols, or anything seen as idol worship is forbidden. Decorative statues would likely not be allowed. 4. Dogs Dogs are ritually impure animals, so bringing dogs into the home as pets would be forbidden. Some households make exceptions for service dogs. 5. Pork Pigs are considered unclean in Islam for a few reasons. The Quran describes the flesh of swine as impure. Pigs are omnivorous and eat feces. Their unclean nature makes pork products ritually impure. So Muslims won't have ham, bacon, or pork sausages at home. 6. Musical Instruments Islam has complex views on music. Some Muslim schools allow it. Others forbid it completely. Those against music believe it can corrupt or distract. Wind and string instruments are often prohibited. Vocal music may be allowed, but instruments mimicking voices are sometimes banned. Opinions on drums vary. Some permit simple drums. Others view any instrumental music as forbidden. 7. Dream Catchers Islam bans the use of amulets. Amulets, like dream catchers, are shirk. Shirk means worshipping deity, gods, or anything other than Allah. 8. Hanging verses of the Quran on the walls It is common for Muslim homes to display Quran verses on walls. The chosen verses are short, essential Islamic beliefs. The verses may be framed, painted, or woven. Placing them in entryways sanctifies the home, but some scholars forbid this practice. Writing could allow verses to be erased or ruined. Degrading God's word is seen as wrong. Teachings also say the Quran should be recited and acted on. It cannot be treated merely as decoration. So opinions on displaying verses vary. 9. Gambling and games of chance. Gambling is forbidden in Islam. It is seen as a sin that causes greed and fighting. Games with betting money or valuables are prohibited. Games of chance rely on luck, not God. And Muslims prefer to rely on God, not random luck. Strategy games like chess may be allowed, but games purely of chance involving dice or cards are strictly banned. 10. Inappropriate speech, cursing, lying, vulgarity, and other vain speech are discouraged in Islam. Foul language poisons the home's tranquility.